morning guys so I just dropped off Alan at work and it's such a beautiful day today and right now it's 13 degrees but I'm pretty sure it's gonna hit up to about 20 degrees today and in Vancouver that is really warm and it feels like summer right now <laughs> so yeah I just dropped Alan off and now I'm just headed home and um, last night we went to grab McFlurries and Alan thought he was gonna eat it for um, dinner last night for dessert but he had, he didn't end up eating it so this morning I asked him how come you didn't eat it and then he's like oh shit I forgot I forgot to um, cover it with plastic so right now it's in the fridge I'm pretty sure beside like chicken bones or something so hopefully it doesn't taste like meat or anything so I have to go home and wrap it up later <laughs> but yeah it's such a beautiful day today I gotta stick this guy back in the fence here because it's been hitting Ellen's face every time he walks. <laughs> okay, babe, let's see if the ice cream's still okay. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. He didn't cover it at all. Still smells pretty good. Let's see about the other one. Nope, it still smells nice and fresh and everything, so I don't think it should be thrown away. It wasn't really near the bone. It was kind of near like the ice cream and the dumpling, so I think it should be okay. I'm just going to cover it now. Babe, you are lucky. Happy June the 1st, everybody. I was like editing the vlog and I looked down and I'm like, what? It's already June. Like seriously, time is going by so, so fast this year. But um, yeah, I'm just editing the vlog right now and... I was browsing online and um, did you guys know 7-Eleven has these little um, mustache straws now? <laughs> it's so cute. It's um, it's new so they're saying it's re retailing for 99 cents for the mustache slurpee drink straws. So this is what it looks like and when you're drinking it or slurping it then the mustache is on your face like right here. I think that's so cute. I would harsh love one. But um, I don't really drink Slurpees much nowadays. I used to when I was in high school a lot. But um, yeah, it's so cute. And then for the mason jar ones, you can get it with the mustache and the mason jar. But the mason jar is only in the States right now. And it's, where does it say? Clear mason jar mug with a colorful screw top lid. And Slurpee logo is $2.99. So that's pretty good. You get a mason jar and the straw, but in here in Canada, you can only get the straws, but I think that's so cute. Maybe if I pass by 7-Eleven or something, I'll go in and check it out. <laughs> this one's so funny. Which mustache would you guys like? The classic French one <laughs> or like these ones? I don't even know what kind of mustache these are. That's a blonde brunette. I would probably either get that one or that one. Mmm, cold green tea soba noodles for breakfast. And I have some bananas on the side, of course the dipping sauce, and some water. Oh, I forgot. Chopsticks. <laughs> I totally forgot to ask my mom if she tried it yet, because you guys remember I got her some of these noodles for Mother's Day. So I'll definitely call her later on, but if I forget to, mom, if you tried it, let me know if you liked it or not. Mmm, so good. So I'm just getting ready for the day and the shirt here. I wanted to wear it today, but it's been hanging for a while and it looks kind of a little bit wrinkly and everything. So my trick for this kind of problem is I basically just put it in the dryer and then usually I would just do like pretend it's a damp dry and then I just press start. And then that kind of rounding motion kind of lets out all the wrinkles and all the toughness in the shirt. So it'll be good to go nice and soft and smooth when I want to wear it. But right now I'm just putting on my face for the day and I'm just gonna, oh, I'm gonna um, film a May Favorites video today for you guys. So by the time you guys um, see this vlog, it should be up on my main channel and I'll have a link down below if you guys wanna see it. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> so um, I just got all the products laid down here for my May favorites video and I'm just about to film. And remember I told you guys I have to have at least one green tea item to show 
uh, share with you in my vlogs. And this week is this Morin Morinaga. What's it called? Morinaga matcha cake and Al and I went to the Japanese market the other day and I picked this up because it looks so good this is what it looks like inside it's basically like a matcha kind of sponge cake with some cream inside it's almost like a kind of Twinkie I guess you could say but this is what it looks like inside it comes in these little individual packets and let me open it so I can show you guys so this is what it looks like inside with the kind of sponge cake and the cream and Alan and I have tried this before at the Japanese market and it's kind of on the bitter side but it's not too bitter if you know what I mean it's kind of like not that sweet matcha taste but it has like a little bitter taste to it but it's really good too it's very subtle and I think this would be really good if you had like a cup of tea on the side or something so good mmm yummy Definitely check it out, guys. Okay, no more eating. Time to film. <laughs> and you guys know how um, OOTD stands for outfit of the day. I should make a hashtag for my vlogs when I show you guys um, a green tea item. It's gonna be G T O T D, green tea of the day. <laughs> Gotta love Sundays when all the good movies are on. Ooh, that's a sexy car. <laughs> Right now I'm watching the Fast and Furious. This is the Tokyo Drift version. And I love all the Fast and Furious movies. Like, who wouldn't love fast cars, action? I just love that stuff. I love action movies in general. This is probably one of the coolest parts of this movie. This part right here. <laughs> Him drifting in circles around these girls' car. <laughs> what would you guys think? Would that would that move work on you? I think at first, if somebody did that to me, I'd be like, "Hey, watch my car." <laughs> it's like, "Whoa, are you gonna hit me or something?" But after a while, if he keeps doing it, I'll be like, "Dang, you got skills!" <laughs> so cool. Drifting. Whoa, look at that big circle. And did it work? Did it work? <laughs> the anticipation. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> Click go the pen. Yay, Alan's off work. Hi, Yay. Alan. <laughs> so we're headed to um, Aberdeen, of course, to meet up with my siblings and their significant others for dinner. And why are you sad, babe? Yeah, because she made all these plans when I was at work and then... No, I didn't. They asked me. <laughs> okay, they made all these plans and then I get off work and she tells me, I'm like, um, I have to work at 5 in the morning tomorrow. Yeah, and it's already 6 o'clock in the evening and usually Alan's in bed at 8 o'clock and knowing my siblings and everything, they can talk forever. So hopefully we still make it in time for 8 hours sleep. <laughs> I know. Right? Because waking up at 4 in the morning is not easy. No. So... Maybe, yeah, we'll see. But we're just heading there right now and it's really sunny and nice today, as I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vancouver's got nice weather now. Yeah. What, um, so if you guys ever want to come to Vancouver, summer's the time to come. Yeah, it's like 22 degrees right now. So it feels nice. I've been cooped up all day, all day long filming, editing and everything. So it's nice to be outside in the sun. Yeah. So for dinner, I have some Korean Amida. beef bulgogi and then my sister Amida. Kim and her lover <laughs> is having some Chinese chicken. You guys wanna say hi to the vlog? <laughs> hi! Hi Justin! Hi! And we have some famous chicken wings. And Ellen got some sort of noodles. What is it, babe? It's called special fried vermicelli. Yes, with shrimp. And we also have some soup. And quench thirster is lemon honey water. And fish chow mein with uh, Guy Lan. Yum yum! you made it home just in time for bed it is now 808 which is bedtime for me on a Sunday night because I have to work so early in the morning and so I always try to go to sleep by 8 o'clock so I can get roughly eight hours of sleep and it kind of sucks because summer is coming and our nights are a lot brighter and our days are a lot longer and this is what it looks like outside it's still nice and sunny mm doesn't make me want to go to bed. It makes me want to go out and play and not go to bed. 
headed to the mall right now because um, Alan just texted me and told me that today, which is June the 2nd, is um, pretty much you have to eat um, sticky rice dumplings, the one in the bamboo leaves and everything. And I asked him, how come, it's, is it like something special or something? And then he's like, yeah, he heard it on like the Chinese radio and asked him, so why do we have to eat it? <laughs> and he's like, there is a reason, but he forgot. So. Um, I just googled it and on Wikipedia it says today is actually the Dragon Boat Festival. So basically the history from what I read is basically there was a um, poet or like a minister, a high ranking minister back then in China that like kind of advised the king back then and the king didn't listen to him and then he um, Kind of just like exiled the minister to like out of the country or whatever right and then um once the king kind of like took over like another country or something that the one that the minister wasn't like a part of um the minister i guess he kind of um I don't know what happened back then but basically he um, committed suicide he pretty much just drowned himself in a river in China and then um, all of his like loyal followers and everything um, basically found out that he did that and they took their boats and rode as fast as they could to where he drowned himself to try to find his body so that's pretty much where the dragon boat festival originated from and basically they couldn't find his body so what they did um, there was a lot of fish in the river that he drowned his body in and basically what they did is they took um, little sticky rice balls and dropped it in the river so the fish will eat the sticky rice instead of the body the minister's body so i thought that was pretty cool and pretty much today is basically i'm guessing like a tribute to what happened back then like the history and stuff so even though i have no idea what it's all about i'm still gonna do it anyway so i'm just headed to the mall right now to tnt to um, buy some sticky rice and then we're probably gonna have it for dinner guess what guys it's my lucky day i actually um won a prize pack i entered on breakfast television which is a news station that alan and i watch every morning and um last time you guys saw that alan won the yoga mat and all like the granola bars and stuff and this time i won so i never win anything so i'm super excited i'm just parked outside right now i'm gonna head in in a little bit but i wanted to show you guys what i got at um TNT for the sticky rice. So basically I got these three triangles right here. This one is the mushroom and chestnut rice dumplings. It also has um, bean curd in it as well. And then I got two of these, um, what it's called, tea flavor shrimp dumpling and it has like shrimp and also has like, peas and corn. Oops, I just spat. Yuck. <laughs> peas and corn and carrots in it. And also I got two more these huge ones here i got it from um the freezer aisle which is from the brand hans and this one's just the original one which has like the egg yolk pork and green yeah pork salted egg yolk and all that stuff the original one and then i also got one more here i think alan's texting me <laughs> i got um the red bean rice wrap one and yeah and this pretty much has the same thing. It's just the salted egg yolk and pork as well. And that's what I got at TNT. It's a lot, I know. I don't think we're gonna finish it all, but hey, it's a celebration after all, or a tribute. <laughs> so yeah, I, that's what I got. And then now I'm just gonna head into the TV station to pick up my prize. Here we go. I'm so excited. Yay, so I picked it up. Do you guys see it in the back there? It's like this tote bag with a scarf on it and I didn't open it up. I'll do like a little haul for you guys once I get home. But I'm just trying to finish this bread that I got while I was at the mall because it's already three something in the afternoon and I didn't eat lunch yet. So I'm trying to scarf this baby down. It's really good actually. I got it from Maxim. This is I think their Mexico bun. Oh my god, this thing is so heavy and big. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys down and we're gonna do the haul. Ready to see what's in this gigantic bag? Okay, so on the side here, looks like a little floral scarf. It's kind of pretty. 
Cool. Let's see who makes it. Um, there's no name tag on here. I don't know. There's no brand on here. But it's a really pretty scarf. It's like floral blue. This is perfect for like the spring or the summertime. It's really pretty. So cool. And then right here, this bag. Oh, it's actually from Indigo Chapters. It's a cool beach bag. It's like kind of white on the side with my favorite purple. This would be a nice like travel bag or even a beach bag. Nice. Ooh, look at this. It's like a green kind of pouch from Indigo as well. I like the gold detailing. Is this like a, what is this? I don't know. Is it like a kind of wristlet purse? I don't know. I'm not too sure, but there's a lot of space in here for like your passport if you travel and stuff. That's kind of cool. And then we have Kleenex boxes. I actually won the Kleenex prize pack that I entered. I don't even re remember what was in it, but this is a box of Kleenex two ply white tissues here. And then another one here is the same thing. Oh, it's an actual designer called Isaac Mizrahi. Mizrahi. Cool. Nice patterns. I like this one. It's very florally and nice. And then we got some more things in here. Ooh, what is this? Wow. Cool. I think it's like a little vase or something and it has this little floral thing too. That's kind of cool. Or even you can even put like your makeup brushes and stuff in there. That's nice. And then what else? From Exhilaration. Ooh, from Target? Oh wow. It's like a like a double wrap kind of studded watch here. That's kind of cool. And it's a silver detailing as well. The color royal blue is really, really in right now. <laughs> nice. What else do we have? Of course, we got some more tissues by Isaac Mizrahi as well. This is kind of cool and funky. Different designs. Ooh, this one's the same too, just in a red version. That's pretty. Well, my nose is gonna be really, really good uh, in good hands when I when I have a cold or something. What else is there? Ooh, perfect for my many Mondays on my blog. This is Essie's nail polish in Bachelorette Bash. So cool. It's like a kind of dark um, magenta, uh, kind of dark pink, I guess you could say. That's kind of nice for like the summertime. And then one last thing in here. Ooh, it's a $50 prepaid MasterCard. That's nice, can do some shopping. <laughs> That's cool. And that is pretty much it and what's in this bag. This bag is really nice too. Can you guys picture me on the beach strolling? <laughs> uh, so cool, I like, seriously, winning is so awesome. Like. It feels so good. <laughs> so thank you, Breakfast Television. Happy Dragon Boat Festival! I hope you guys are having a fun celebration as well.